Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're going head to head battle to see with $400, can we get a better and higher FPS system with an APU or a better one with actual discrete graphics? The price of APUs has come down a lot since the last time we did this test. I think the two systems were like $700 or something. We were able to build these systems with pretty equal performance for $400, but should you go the all new route of the APU or should you buy a used GPU and get a, well, Intel processor like we have right here? Here. We're about to find out, but first, a word from today's sponsor. Are you tired of playing the same old boring games offer no real challenge or excitement? It's time to step up and become a real hero in Raid Shadow Legends. If you like fun and demanding action, the Doom Tower is Raid's most challenging content. It's a 124 challenge that will test your mettle. This tower is filled with increasingly difficult enemies, each more powerful than the last. To celebrate Christmas, download Raid and enter your player ID at 12daysofraid.playroom.com to set out on a fun, festive adventure. Play to win some in-game and real-life prizes, such as Amazon gift cards. Raid's got something extra special happening, right? Right now, they've released a legendary champion based off MMA legend, Ronda Rousey. You can get it for free by logging in and playing for 7 days between now and February 20th. To celebrate Ronda's arrival in Raid, you can also use promo code RAIDRONDA to get helpful stuff like a 3 day 100% XP boost, 500k silver, and 5 energy refills. Just enter promo code RAIDRONDA in game and get all these goodies. And if you guys haven't started playing Raid yet, click the link in the description or scan my QR code to get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking the free epic champion Ana, 200k silver, 1 energy refill, an XP boost, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. So what are you waiting for? Grab your phone and download the game now and start your journey to become a legendary hero. So the reason we did this video is before we did a video where we had a Dell Optiplex that we absolutely tricked out and we kind of were trying to see what is the price to performance difference but a lot of people were upset because they said, well, you spent more on the actual desktop that you custom built and everything and less than the Dell. So of course there was a difference. So we said, okay, how about this time we spend the exact same amount of money. We get fully custom builds that are pretty freaking similar but then we see which one comes out on top. Yeah, and the main thing that we were trying to do here was get a graphics card that would potentially beat the Vega graphics to basically decide whether or not you should spend the money on a used GPU and get a totally different platform, or in theory, you could get another Ryzen CPU if you do some deal hunting, or do you just buy this all new 5600G and get good performance now while also having that upgrade path later? And we're gonna go ahead and take these two systems and we're gonna play some games we like to play. We're gonna play some Fortnite and Overwatch, you'll see some live numbers, and then we're gonna throwing it through a suite of three built-in benchmarks, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Shadow the Tomb Raider, and Rainbow Six Siege, which will be more demanding AAA titles along with some more esports titles because really if you're buying a PC for $400, that's kind of <laughs> what you're looking to do. You're not going to be playing super high-end games. And uh, yeah, we'll compare the numbers and decide which one is the best value. All right, guys, we're playing Overwatch 2 and we're at 1080p with our 60 FPS monitor. And then, as you can see, we have the render sale set to 100%, just so that we're not running at like, you know, 75%, 720p. So this is true 1080p, yep. low settings. And we are trying to match the uh, the settings we did when we benchmarked the 5600G, uh, all low settings, 1080p. And um, yeah, so far, 100 plus FPS. I know the 5600G, we were dipping below 100 a decent amount when things get a little crazy. So uh, we'll see how this performs when we get in those kind of scenarios. Oh, they, got, they got that held down. Tickling them. <laughs> Make them tickle. Get out of here, you stupid mercy. Oh. Little. Get this is fast. Oh man. Oh. Get out of my shield. Oh, I almost screwed <laughs> that up. I almost killed myself off that. Steven, what are you doing? Who are you? Alright, we're gonna hold. We're gonna do something crazy here. He's okay, got aimbot! Oh. It's a lot harder. The aimbot did not work. I can actually feel like I'm swinging when I want to and stuff. I just didn't get hit, but that's all right. Oh, I'm gonna die. Not Bob. Bob. Not Bob a Finn. Okay, I was like, dude, she doesn't die, like, just kill me. You're not gonna like me. It's okay. Freaking. 
You're back! Oh. Yeah, y'all didn't see this coming, did ya? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Top dub <laughs> GGs. But yeah, the 460 runs pretty solid. You guys will have seen some side by side comparisons back and forth between the 460 and 5600G. And um, yeah, we'll go ahead and go through all the built in benchmarks as well. But we also got to show you Fortnite, see what mm. Fortnite can do. All right, guys, we are in Fortnite. These are the settings, the same settings we ran on the 5600G PC. You will see some back and forth gameplay as we go through the Fortnite. Um, but yeah, so far looking pretty solid. Um, Fortnite has done a major update with their performance settings. It's not in like beta anymore or alpha or anything. It's just, it's good to go. And I've noticed on some budget systems, it makes makes things pretty smooth. There's a four -wheeler. Whoa. Whoa. That was weird. That was epic. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Hi. Oh, didn't even give him a chance. You should follow him around to see what he does. <laughs> <laughs> Once you saw that, I saw the guy was like, no, we, we ain't messing around. Oh! Big, big. Oh yeah, it doesn't burn the concrete. Where'd you go? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go deal with this. Take out the trash. Oh. Dang, dude, they tried to like. Ah! Oh, was it? There was another one. They're coming in like flies. Oh my god! I'm not sure one of them has shot back yet. That person really wants you, dude. Oh my god, they're- Oh! Oh! They're oh, actually oh, like- Please, please, shields, shields. Ah, oh, shields! Oh, we seen a shot from behind. Take your kill, take your kill. Now kill him for trying to take your kill. He actually- No, I goofed oh. around too much! Oh, they hit you. Oh, they're gonna- Oh! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Wow, it ended, it, yeah. it was like the same thing, the same ending. This person just slid in on me. I almost got him too. But uh, yeah, there's Fortnite. Hopefully you guys can see the side-by-side -side comparison. This was a lot closer than it was in Overwatch. Overwatch was a pretty significant difference. I think it's because on performance settings we're very CPU bound and those CPUs are pretty equal in terms of like single core performance. So yeah, let's go ahead and switch to the built-in benchmarks. All right guys, so the numbers are in and our system with the discrete graphics did a good amount better. We're talking about about a 20% performance increase and we had lower latency slash response times, which was really nice in games because it's not all about FPS. It's also about having a good, playable, smooth input experience. Yeah, overall, both systems though did amazing. The one thing I want you guys to keep in mind too, some of you might say, well, why not go with the APU? You get six core 12 thread, it's better than the i3 and that's not exactly true. You gotta remember, both these CPUs only support gen three. They both have about the same upgrade path. You can go to an i 10th gen i7 on this one or in theory 11th gen if this is a b560 which mm -hmm. i think it is yep. and then with this one you can go up to a ryzen 5800x 5900 and that's about it so there's ceilings for both of these that are pretty respectable but the i3 in terms of its raw just the single core performance is probably going to be slightly better than the 5600g so yeah in recap the 5600g is a good all new option if you want something that's super simple to put together and if you could find a 5600g for a hundred dollars or 110 dollars it's 
not a bad buy, but just like we preach in all our other videos, if you're willing to dive into the used market and you're willing to buy a used graphics card for the same price, you will get more performance out of the box. Now, you also could sacrifice a little bit with this system and get a cheaper case, but the fact is that for the same price with the cheap APU, we were able to get some RGB in there, so you got a little bit of bling. With this system, we were really at the top of our budget. We had to sacrifice with no RGB and really go for a plain system, but then that all changes with your deal hunting. So if you wanna do some deal hunting and check some links down below, they will be affiliate links that will help us out. And let us know if you end up buying a system with an APU, a 5600G, or if you plan on going the GPU route. Because I think either way, you'll be happy, but I would say for out of the box performance, definitely go this route. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Now, if you don't like any of this mumbo jumbo and you just want to get an APU system, you want to get a really high-end desktop system, or you want to get a laptop or a tablet, PC Bros. PC Bros. Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. And if you use code SANTA5 through the month of December, it's almost the end of December, guys. You have to hurry. Mm -hmm. SANTA5 will save you 5% on your next PC purchase over at PCBros.Tech. Check the link down below. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.